This is a quick video guide showing the setup and installation of the AES network management system. For this installation you will need the primary multinet IP address and a private IP address for your NMS. If you prefer to access the NMS dashboard and visualization from a computer, tablet or smartphone outside your local network, a public IP address will be needed. In the NMS package, you will find the NMS appliance, the rack mounting hardware, power cord, and an Ethernet cable. Connect power cable to the NMS and plug it into an outlet. The NMS will power up right away. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the NMS Ethernet port 1. Connect the other end to the laptop. Configure the laptop with a static IP address such as 192.168.1.250 and set the gateway to 192.168.1.1. Open a web browser such as Chrome or Firefox and in the URL enter the NMS default IP address https colon slash slash 192.168.1.254 Note that Internet Explorer version 10 and above must be used. When the login screen comes up, log in with the credentials admin admin. You can change this password later. Enter your contact information and click save. Click on configuration then NMS server to edit the private IP settings. Enter a new IP address from the same network as your multinet. Set the gateway, net mask, DNS if needed and click OK. Now that the NMS IP settings have been configured, power down the appliance by holding down the power button on the front for 5 seconds and disconnect the Ethernet cable from this temporary setup, disconnect the power cable, mount the rack brackets on the NMS appliance move the unit to the permanent rack location. Connect power and ethernet cable after rack installation. Enter the new NMS IP address in a web browser from a computer with network access and log in. Click on Configuration then select Multinet Receiver. Enter the IP address of your primary Multinet and the password that you use to log into Multinet Shell. Click OK and the NMS will reboot. After the reboot, the appliance will communicate with the Multinet and the required data will be transferred to the NMS. Return to the Administrator Dashboard. The Multinet operation is never affected in any way during this process or during NMS operation. Note the number of business units being monitored on the status page. To see if the initial data transfer is completed, click on any of the business units under the Business Units tab and on the Operated Dashboard page you will see the Network Pulse plot showing the last 10 days of activity. If no series are shown, that means that the data is still being transferred. This completes the installation of the network management system.